Welcome to our online service today. My name's Mark Bolas. I'm one of the ministers here at church, and it's wonderful to have you watching with us. Now, if you haven't yet joined us for services on site, but you'd like to, uh, then please feel free to check out uh, the details and get in touch with us uh, by visiting the link below. And you'll also find information uh, there at that link on our website about our Christmas services and how you can book in to join us for one of them. We're holding two services on Christmas Eve and two services on Christmas Day, and those services will be all the same. And so you're welcome to book in to join us for one of them. We'd love to see you. Now, in our service today, we're continuing our series looking at the book of Job. And in the part of Job we're looking at today, uh, we zoom out from Job and his friends, and we look beyond their debates about the reason for Job's suffering. We look beyond their deliberations about God's justice because in Job 28, our focus is instead drawn to the idea of wisdom, the idea that there is a way to live well in God's world and then to actually do it. Now, before we hear about wisdom from God's word, we're going to sing Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. It's a hymn that helps us to see our God as he really is and ourselves as we really are. And what we recognise in the words of this hymn is that our God is so much greater than us. He is immortal, almighty, victorious. He's unresting, unchanging. He is just, good, loving. And he gives life to all, even to people like us. A physical life that we experience every day and spiritual life that is given through the work of God's Son, by His Spirit. Now, as we see God's extraordinary greatness and His amazing kindness to us, what else would we do? What else could we do but praise Him? And so let's begin our service by praising our God together now. <laughs> 